This is CBS 5 Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Dana King. I'm Ken Bastida. If you're a PG&E customer, uh, getting one, whether you like it or not, you will be. The company plans to install smart meters in every home. Some who have already gotten them are complaining about skyrocketing bills. But Anna Warner shows us there is another reason that some are telling PG&E they want no part of smart meters. Anna? Right, Ken. These are the meters they're complaining about, the new electric and gas smart meters. In fact, you might call it a budding rebellion among some PG&E customers who say when it comes to smart meters, they don't want them and they're not going to take them. Mark Dieterman is taking a stand, putting his old meter under lock and key. I locked the box so they couldn't lift the panel. Trying to lock out PG&E's new smart meters. What I basically said to PG&E is, you're not coming by to put this on my house. Period. And why? To me, it's unconstitutional. It's invasion of my privacy. Because the new meters allow PG&E to remotely read a customer's usage every hour. The company says in future that will allow homeowners to monitor and reduce their energy use. But Dieterman says also... It permits PG&E to actually come into your home at any time during the day and know what appliances you're using, when you're using them, how you're using them. This is corporate intrusion on your life. And Patricia Young of Brentwood takes it a step further. Well, I'm against it. She says it's anti-American. It's an infringement on our rights and our liberties. Overstatement? Maybe not, says attorney Lee Tien with the Electronic Frontier Foundation. The privacy of the home uh, is is really the, the most important value. And Tien says those meters could tell the government, even the police, what's going on in your home. Inside your home is where the government isn't supposed to intrude without um, some kind of a warrant, usually. Uh, and yet when this data is flowing freely outside your home, the information gets outside that sort of protected boundary and you start to to have a problem. Which is why Dieterman says he won't accept a smart meter. This is where I take my stand. I do have a choice. But do you? If you don't want a smart meter, do you have to take one? For the answer to that, let's go to the rule book, the tariffs approved by California's Public Utilities Commission. And the answer is right here in rule number 16, that PG&E shall at all times have the right to enter premises for any purpose connected with the furnishing of electric service. And if you want to argue about it, don't forget rule number 11. If customers don't comply, it says, PG&E may terminate their gas and electric service. And letters from PG&E PG&E tell customers exactly that. They're threatening that if I don't let them, they're going to turn my uh, gas and electric off regardless of the status of the bill, which is paid. We haven't seen an actual termination of service from the utility, uh, but we've heard anecdotes. And Matthew Friedman with consumer group Turn thinks it's more than a threat. If people tell PG&E they don't want a smart meter, uh, we expect that PG&E will try to ram it down their throats. PG&E says that's not true, that the utility wants to work with customers. The company declined to do an interview, but told us in a statement that regarding privacy, protecting their customers' confidential information is a top priority. And what's more, that the Public Utilities Commission provides very strict prohibitions on specific customer information being provided to third parties without the customer's written consent. But a smart meter at this house, Mark Dieterman says, just try it. If they show up, they're going to have to go through me to get at them. They'll take a court order and a whole bunch of police officers. PG&E needs to be stopped in their tracks here. Not something that PG&E likely wants to hear. That they have to force these meters onto people's premises against their will. This has got to be an absolute nightmare for them. So now you say you have questions about smart meters and perhaps energy conservation. Well, tomorrow morning in Walnut Creek, starting at 10 o'clock, there's an opportunity for you to put your questions to PG&E and the CPUC at a forum hosted by the California Public Utilities Commission and Senator Mark DeSonier's office. We have put details of that meeting, which runs from 10 to 12 in Walnut Creek, on our website. Just go to CBS5.com, click on Investigates, and while you're there, send me an email about your experience with smart meters or any other stories we should investigate. Ken and Dana will keep you up to date on the smart meter debate. Sounds good. Thank you, Anna.